Okay, let's solve some more examples, as I promised. Uh, as you can see here, calculate the value of S if O is the center of the circle. And all the details are here. As you can see, S is a radius. And QR and RO is also radius. So if I'm going to name RO as X, then my S is 20 plus X, as you can see there. And uh, according to theorem 1, this is a perpendicular, this is a curve. So if this is perpendicular, then this is also 90 degrees. If we use theorem number 1. That means that I have the hypotenuse, that is 20, plus x parenthesis squared is equal to. We have the x squared plus 30 squared. So I have 400 plus 40 x 2 times 20 plus x squared is equal to x squared plus 900 and then we have if I will subtract both sides of the equation by x squared and also by 400 this is now 0 that is 0 that is also 0 and I have 40x is equal to um, what will be 500. We divide both sides of the equation by 40. And then we have 50 divided by 4. That is 12.5 centimeter. That means our S is 20 plus 12.5. It is 32.5 centimeter. Let's try this one now. EG is a chord of the circle with center O. CF is perpendicular to EG. CF, CF, CF is perpendicular to EG. That means 90 degrees to each other. Um, DF is equal to 4DC. DF, DF is equal to 4DC, which is 4 times CD is 3 according to that. 4 times 3 is equal to 12 centimeter. That means from uh, D, D to F it is 12 centimeter. And C to F is equal to 15 centimeter. So if this is 12, then 3 plus 12 is 15 centimeter. That means OF or the radius is 7.5 centimeter. Okay, so if this is 7.5, 7.5. That is also equal to OE. 7.5, it's a radius. Both of them are radius. Both of them. And, and EG, we don't know. So if this is 7.5, OC is 7.5. OC is equal to 7.5 centimeter. That means OD is equal to 7.5 minus 3 centimeter. That means 4.5 centimeter. So this is 4.5 centimeter. So by Pythagorean, Pythagoras, Pythagorean theorem, we have, we're going to solve for this now, x. I will put that as x 
e d or d e is equal to x d d e is equal to x that such that we have a uh, seven point five squared is equal to x squared plus four point five squared. Seven point five squared is where is my calculator? There you go. Seven point five squared. Is fifty six point twenty five is equal to x squared plus four point five squared is equal to twenty point twenty five. Now, if we subtract both sides of the equation by twenty point twenty five. Then I have x squared is equal to, that's 36 cent, square centimeter. Taking both, uh, square to both sides of the equation, then I have x is equal to 6 centimeter. So this is equal to 6. If it is uh, perpendicular, that means d de is equal to dg so if we were going to de is equal to six centimeter that means eg is equal to six centimeter plus six centimeter then we have 12 centimeter Here, the next uh, problem is the equation of the line is 2x plus y is equal to, t to 10 and that of the circle x squared plus y squared is equal to 25. If AE, if AE, as you can see here, is perpendicular to DC, calculate the length of DE. So, there are a lot of ways to do this. One way is that you're going to find this point and that point. This point is already given, zero and, and at five and zero. This one is, you need to equate this equation with this equation because they, they met there. Um, and then when you are finished with that, you're going to find the length and then divide it by 2 then you can find the length of the length of d there is another you can try that there is another where i can use the, the idea of perpendicularity that means if i have 2x another color I have 2x plus y is equal to 0, uh, is equal to 10. And what, by subtracting both sides of the equation by 2x, minus 2x there, this is 0, so y is equal to 10 minus 2, 2x. And my m here is negative 2, so that is my m sub 1. So m sub 1 multiplied by m sub 2 is equal to negative 1. That means uh, m sub 1 is negative 2 multiplied by m sub 2 multiplied is equal to negative 1. That means m sub 2 dividing both sides of the equation by negative 2, then we have 1 half. So my second equation is y is equal to 1 half x. That is proportional. It goes through uh, zero. So my b, my y-intercept is zero. 
So I don't have any B here. So, so if I'm going to find the point of intersection there, then I have 10 minus 2x is equal to 1 half x. If I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 2, then I have 20 minus 4x is equal to x. Adding both sides of the equation by 4x, then I have 5x is equal to 20. Dividing both sides of the equation by 5, then I have x is equal to 4. That's my point. Then I have y is equal to 1 half of 4. Then I have 2. So this point E is 4 and 2. Actually, you can see in the, in the graph, but I want to show you. Then, if you have two points, then you can always find the distance. So the distance is equal to, we have 5 minus 4 squared. The, 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 the difference of the squares of the x coordinates plus the y coordinates. This time we have 0 minus 2 squared. Then we have the square root of 1 squared, that is 1 also. Negative 2 squared is 4. Then we have square root of 5 centimeter and that is approximately 2. Point, what did I get 2.24 centimeter that's it for uh, theorem number one i hope that uh, i will see you also in theorem number two see you around